Caution. Observe all precautions when removing and replacing components. Remove the battery, service door, and optical drive. Remove the 8mm P1 Phillips head screw, identified with the keyboard icon on the base enclosure. Position the notebook for access to the optical bay and the display partially open. With your finger, gently poke through the hole to help release the keyboard. Turn the notebook right side up and open the display panel fully. Using your finger or a flat-bladed non-marring tool, gently lift up on the rear edge of the keyboard and slide the keyboard towards the rear of the notebook to release the tabs at the front of the keyboard. Important. Do not lift the keyboard further away from the notebook than necessary to access the keyboard ribbon cable and ZIF connector. Gently lift up on the locking bar on the keyboard ZIF connector and remove the keyboard ribbon cable. Important. Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Note. If the keyboard is backlit, an additional connector from the keyboard would also need to be disconnected from the system board. Remove the keyboard. Place the keyboard upside down on the top cover so that the keyboard ribbon cable and ZIF connector are accessible. Insert the keyboard ribbon cable into the ZIF connector on the system board and gently press down on the ZIF connector locking bar. Important. Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Note. If the keyboard is backlit, an additional connector from the keyboard would also need to be connected to the system board. Carefully turn over the keyboard and tow the tabs on the bottom edge of the keyboard into the top cover and press the keyboard flat. Close the display panel and turn the notebook upside down. Replace the 8mm P1 Phillips head screw to secure the keyboard to the notebook.